Well, I'm now joined on set by our international affairs editor, Melissa Bell. Hello, Melissa. Is there any way that Greece could form a coalition government without Syriza? No, it seems almost impossible. These talks will go ahead uh, tonight. They will be uh, attended by the New De Democracy, the centre-right party, uh, the Socialist Passock Party, and, of course, we just heard there from the head of the New Democracy Party, the Democratic Left, rather, who will also be attending. But he's already made it clear that given that uh, Alexis Tsipras won't be attending, uh, that he would not be any part of any coalition government if uh, that that party weren't part of it as well. He got 6% of the vote. So the figures are simply not there. Arithmetically, it cannot be made to work. What does that mean? That almost certainly Greece is heading towards new elections, possibly on June 17th, in which Alexis Tsipras is expected to come out on top, as we've just heard, which is an extraordinary achievement. His party was fifth. Uh, he brought it to second in the last elections. And what's happened is that since those elections, with all the talk about what's happened, he's really emerged as the champion of anti-austerity, the champion against this memorandum, as the Greeks called it, which has got them up in arms. So more people would probably vote for him in order to sort of coalesce that vote. He would come out on top as the new prime minister. What does that mean? That he will seek to set to renegotiate this memorandum, to re renegotiate the terms of the deal with the EU. And that's something that the EU has made clear it simply will not stand for. So almost inevitably now, it seems that Greece is on the road to a messy withdrawal from the euro currency. Well, that's something that members of the Eurozone are now talking openly about Greece leaving the Eurozone. And that's something that they refused to talk about just months ago. The Eurozone will meet tonight at, at, seven, at five o'clock uh, Paris time and they're likely to deliver a very clear message to Athens. Indeed, uh, already uh, this week they didn't give, uh, sorry, at the end of last week, they didn't give uh, all, Athens all of the money that they were meant to give them simply uh, to show uh, that they meant what they said and they were keeping an eye on what Athens was doing. They've been very clear. The German press, interestingly, has come out uh, this morning very much suggesting uh, that Greece uh, can leave the euro and that's probably the best thing. So on one hand, you have a, a very strong strong, possibly hardened position on the part of the EU that anyone who doesn't keep its commitments up does not deserve to stay in the club. And on the other hand, uh, uh, this populist uh, socialist leader, who's very clear that uh, he wants to win and keep the support of the Greeks by opposing this memorandum. So what we're looking at is something that no one had foreseen when the euro was introduced, is how uh, a euro country will leave uh, the euro and what implications that will have both for Greece as it returns to the drachma and for the euro as it looks to a future without one of its members. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a very interesting week ahead. Thank you, Melissa. Melissa Bell, our international affairs editor there.